Okay, assuming you watched the last one, you have pretty much everything you need to know about Finding Ethan. The basic rundown for Finding Ethan's production is that it was made literally within a day. But I kept on going back and changing some dialogue throughout the years because reasons. Personal stuff, I shouldn't discuss it on the internet. That will be bad. But generally the gist of the plot is that me and Katie realize that Ethan is gone because this is still interesting. It's supposed to be part of me. We realize he's gone and um, we start going looking for him. But he's nowhere to be found. You can tell it was made within a day. Um, we find a note on a portal thing, which was rewritten multiple times. And then, disregarding what was on the note, we go in anyways. And, yeah. And then the portal falls apart, and then Kane and Hallie are just randomly in the comic for some reason, and they decide to build KH Labs. Spoiler. <laughs> um, yeah, it is really outdated, but... It is somewhat of a good start, so I'm going to read it out, like, as best as I can, because I'm in a kind of a cramped space, because, you know, there's a bowling ball case right here. It's weird, I know. Okay, so yeah. I'll read it out like a, like your four-year-olds, which maybe you are, I don't care. Finding Ethan. Ethan! Where do you think he went? Or, where do you think Ethan went? I don't know, but I'm worried. I know. Let's go to his house. Okay. Later. And... <gasps> it's not there. You carry come home here. We gotta find Ethan. Um... I don't know why she has a semicolon in her dialogue, but, you know. Ethan! Hey! Hey! Where are you looking at him? <laughs> Ethan! Hey! Have you seen him? No. Writing message. And it was like, Ethan in the clouds. Sorry, I'm... This is like the first time I've ever done this. <sighs> and... I didn't even write her dialogue for this part. But yeah, that's basically what his design looked like. It didn't look anything like him. But it didn't mind look anything like me. No. Oh yeah, this was made like in fifth grade. <laughs> yeah, that's how old it is. So, yeah. So this was back in fifth grade when it was just me, Katie, and Ethan who were all friends. And we had all drew comics together. And then one day we decided that we could do comics together. Yeah. This was made because, obviously, we had to stop using Ethan's character because we weren't friends with him. But I'm not going to get into that. I don't think we can find him. We can't give up. We searched all over, all day, Katie. We can't just forget him. Whoa! Follow that time stone. Yeah, that's the time stone. It's basically like the Phantom Ruby and the actual Time Stone from the MCU put together. That's how dated it is. And then go into this dilapidated building. Whoa! Ethan has has got to be in here. Zzzt. Vroom. It's a portal. A note is on it. I don't. I, I don't think you want to see just the handwriting. Dear friends, the Time Stone has brought you here so I can tell you I have. I live in the future. If it reactivates, don't follow me. I want to be in later time. I don't want to be in this time anymore. <laughs> the dumb thing is, is that when I continued the storyline, he was not in the future. He was in, like, a different dimension. It was weird. No! What does it say? Asterix looks asterix. We're going in. Oh. Whee! We gotta get him back! And you do this, like, Super Mario 3D World pose. Wee! Uh. Let's stay. Okay. Falls apart. Oh, boy. We gotta build it. I don't know how to build. To 
Ethan. See you in a comic that does not exist, because as I said, this is outdated. And this is what the thing looks like. I wanted to make a company called Tiki Productions, because Tristan, Katie. Oh yeah, and I also made the dumb excuse to that whenever I had more people working on it, namely Kane and Trey. I, it was it was gonna be called Tiki Tiki Production if you get Tristan, Katie, Trey, Kane. It didn't make sense. Okay, yeah, that's the end for that comic. A few notes that I want to leave. Um, this was not actually my first attempt at comics. I think my earliest attempt at comics was like third grade. Um, yeah, you are obviously know this on my third first attempt at comics. <laughs> um. Yeah, next time we're going to be reading actual Tristan and Friends, book one. But wait, that says Tristan, Katie, and Friends. Yeah, the original title was Tristan, Katie, and Friends, because those were the important characters. Um, yeah, also I was obsessed with using the word, the term, world's unite. So yeah, see you next time.